Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you now how to test whether a, a tag exists in the database and if it doesn't exist to uh, alert the application or yourself. So what I'm going to do first of all is just copy the service URL which is here forward the tiny web DB in our application, paste it into a tab and fire away. And as you can see there we have uh, for App Inventor's default tiny web DB service, we have two things we can do. We can store values and get values. What I'm going to do is just get a value for a tag which I know doesn't exist, such as, um, well, I don't know, let's try blurb. I doubt whether it's there, but we'll soon know. Get value. Right, okay. It contains nothing, so null. So you can see the two double quotes that indicating nothing is in that slot. There is nothing in, in that slot there at the moment. Um, so what we'll do is we need to check sensibly in any program we write to see whether there's data in a tag before we try and get the data out. So what we need to do is to look inside TinyWebDB and really what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, get a value from there and we'll do that at initialization for the sake of sake of this uh, demonstration. So when the screen initializes I'm going to call TinyWebDB and I'm going to try and get a value out of it. So um, this is called blurb for now. So let's take the blurb tag which we know is empty. It doesn't in fact exist. So I haven't created a tag there and I certainly haven't stored any value in there. However interestingly what will happen is if I call TinyWebDB with a get value or on this tag, it will return this tag here, whatever it is that I've sent. So that tag from WebDB will be the one that I sent to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check with an if block to see if the value that's returned is null. So if it's null, and there's nothing there, which makes sense. So let's check for that now. So no spaces, no nothing. That's just a blank empty box. And I'll just uh, stick an else block in there as well to do something. If there is data in there, and I'm just going to use the notify now for the purposes of this demonstration. So the notice I'm going to say is um, no data that tag um, and I'm going to duplicate that and say here yeah, data exists for that tag and actually if I'm being a little bit pedantic about it I'd probably do a join on this and join the actual tag that's returned um, and get the tag from here and put that on there space on the end and do the same for that one there no data for that tag um, okay so let's go ahead and run this in the uh, in the emulator and see what we get back let's reset the connection and in we go and you should see that there's no data for that tag. The message, there we are, no data for that tag. Blurred, so that's working exactly as we expected it to, because there is no data. So what we can do is actually store a value in there. Let's just do it this way here. Store a value. So I'm actually going to create that tag and give it a value. Thread. So let's store that value in there. OK, what we're going to do now is we're going to rerun the app. So we'll close the emulator. Back into that. Reset the connection. And this time we should see that data exists for that tag. So our check will be complete. OK, let's see if it comes up. Data exists for that tag. And there it is there. Okay, so ideally that's what you should do whenever you're getting a tag from the database 
you should always a check what the tag is has it got any data or hasn't it okay and if it hasn't got data then obviously then you have an error and you need to deal with that error you can either initialize it with some data if you want to store some data in at the start or you can stop the program at that point because it's an error code or stored error code okay